and the ancestors are looking out for us. Todd Hayes is exposing them, man. It's okay, you see that chair right there? See how big it is? Yeah. Now look at the Pope chair under. Scroll down, look at the Pope chair under. Never yeah. have it been made yeah. so good. Young TV. Young We running the game right TV. now. to take over. Yo. We hot into the game. Hit that like. Hit that subscribe button. If you just Yo. not too late. Share like on your Instagram, Facebook. Yo. If you too late. We broadcasting live from 2030, TV. baby. So this is Q&A part two, following the public service announcement. Um, I'm going to have to get a moderator because I, if I don't get a moderator, I won't be able to answer very many questions because I be, <laughs> once I start, I don't be wanting to tell people that's enough. see okay give him a couple seconds to see if he come in if he accept and not him uh, take the next I don't even know how to use a moderator on, on Instagram or how to appoint a moderator as they would have to um, bring the person in and exit the person out. I don't even know if that's possible on here. Okay, so, so he's not coming in. I go to the next one. Um, you must be my soul sister, soul sister. Yeah, a lot of people send requests. I can only you take one person at a time. <laughs> um, yep, right back again. Part two to the Q&A. Sister Buffering, she should be cleaning up any second now. You know how Instagram be doing. They already don't want us having constructive conversations across the gender barrier or constructive conversations about intellectual development of any sort they want us to talk about booty shaking and um ass clapping and all of the unnecessary bullshit then they'll let us run and as soon as we get on here talking about some real real stuff they do this they had your buffering for two hours not let you in They don't want none of this real, real action to be communicated. Peace, God. What's going on? Man, what? just laying back, taking it easy. What's going on with you? Oh, man, down here in Orlando, Florida. Well, Jernigan, Florida, a.k.a. Orlando, Florida. Jernigan mm. tried. 
know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I, well, we gotta get this. <laughs> yeah. I, I, right. I want to appreciate you, Chief, and I thank you. Boy, you know, gave me so much insight. You and your elder. I've been I've been, you know, on your YouTube page, keeping up with you, see what's been going on with you. You know, boy. You don't talk me one good thing. I'm keep it short and sweet. I really can't really say thank you because you don't talk me how to clean house. Okay, that red herring do not play. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> it's all very emotional, man. You know when people wrong me, I used to go at it 100%. Like go at it. You know what I'm saying? Clean it out. But man, that red herring has been so effective with me. You know what I'm saying? Learning how to get people around me that's you know. I mean, clean the house with that. So I appreciate you teaching me how to, it, that that been like taming my emotional side. You know what I'm saying? Teach me how not to go and just go all lot and go from zero to a hundred. God, believe me, I be wanting to go zero to a hundred in, in point zero seconds. <laughs> I'm talking about that <laughs> anybody, any shrink or anybody that teach me that red hair is so effective. It's so effective. <laughs> you did that, um, I seen you had did kind of like a little, you were covering the, uh, another thing I want to talk to you about real quick before I slip my mind. I've been on that goody good too. Uh, you were saying something about the chiefs, right? And how to be able to recognize the chiefs in real time. Now, at one time you was talking about that kind of like in the rap sector and E-40, he was kind of like everywhere at that time. And you were saying something like E-40 was making his way into that, you know, uh, he was a chief or something. Then he just disappeared right after you said that. Like disappeared. You know what I'm saying? What do you think happened with that? Like you think? No, he sent me. He sent me a knockback message. Oh yeah. He sent. He sent me a knockback message at a football game. I I, I didn't know I was finna come up with E40 when we was we was flipping bridges. Right. 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 Right, and right. E40 been building the bridges between the chiefs of different tribes and him and several other artists like Tupac, like Biggie was using the cover of the music and the ability to traverse the land using the music and the entertainment industry as a cover story right. for the real footwork they was doing. And when I was flipping the bridges, 40 water came up. And I'm like, who the fuck? Is, that's E40. E40. That's right. <laughs> I'm getting the message that when I when you see that video, I was actually getting the message on the Wind Talker channel in real time while I was flipping code in real time. Right. And once I identify the chiefs that's making the connections, because we got a whole lot of chiefs right. doing their work. Right. But they're using um anything they can use to conceal the fact that they're chief while they do their work. Soon as that flipped out, I got an immediate knockback from a young producer and he came in my inbox. He said, E-40 been linking the chiefs behind the scenes and you just called it. Behind right? the scenes. Yes. That, came up that East Coast, West Coast thing when he kind of like got big out there. And people don't know that he the one that actually got big out there while they were saying all that park and death row, but it was E forty the one that got pop I mean got big in them out there first. Correct? Correct? He actually well Biggie had got his, had ran down off into this is before um Tupac went to prison. Right, right. He, uh, Biggie had stumbled into somebody's neighborhood. They know the chief know when you come into their community Correct. that you're there. Correct. And, and when the dudes rolled down on B, they had to get clearance to erase them. That's cool. And so yeah. they called 40 Water. 40 said, put him on the phone. He said they had a conversation and he asked him what, he was, what was his business and he told him his business was only business and he didn't know that you know, what he was into. Right. But Pac had tried to tell him. This is their conversation. I don't want to go all into the man personal conversations. Yeah, yeah. So when he tell him that Pac was trying to tell me he didn't understand at the time, because at the time that this was going down, Biggie didn't know he was Chief Sitting Bull. He was just, Biggie, just coming in. Another question. You just answered another question. Because 
we have, I know it's like you said, it got to be chiefs out here that probably don't even know they're chiefs. Right. We, we wake up to who we is. Mm. Mm. Right. And some of us are ancient ones. We inherit the uh, uh, a chiefs. Like I inherited Chief Pontiac was an Ottawa war chief. I'm an old Mississippian, so my blood is in all of the tribes. I know I'm some kind of straight warrior, so my wife will tell you, I don't care <laughs> if it's why I'm sleep, man. You know what I'm saying? On the other mm -hmm. realm, it's warrior everywhere I wear it. I've been in prison twice. It's always right. some kind of thing with me. So once once he really he's starting to realize who he is, the final wake up call was his conversation with Forty Water. Oh. And he like, oh, oh snap, son. Yeah. And so yes. Forty Tail Big, look, Forty Tail Big, give give a man back the phone. A man answered the phone. He said, give him a pass. He clear in the hood. He know what's going on. He part of the team. And he let him go. Right? Now, a lot of people think that, that Big is is dead. He ain't dead. He's in Jamaica. Right, the character. You, yeah, I know about the character. The character they bring in. And right. That. So, right. so what, what he had to do was, because when you go back to the history books, it was Sidden Bull who was sitting down on the post. This is why he got the name Sitting Bull. So that picture, that famous picture, he's sitting down like that. That picture they right. saw all the time. Yep. He always sitting down. If you go back, he got a picture when he was a little boy and he was sitting in the chair. Right. Now he old he got old original tribal blood. So he by him moving to New York, his mama moving to New York, him being born there, he inherited chief sitting bulls energy so now because we know chief sitting bull didn't give a warning he's supposed to send a warning out but he didn't give a warning right because he didn't get a warning he had to be flogged in public amongst where all of the chiefs can see it and tupac amaru is the Tupac Amaru out of uh, South America, Peru? The same one. The same one. Right. That's what so saying. when he when he going around trying to find the chiefs, he really looking for Chief Pontiac. He can't find him. He stayed at Breed House in Flint, looking for Chief Whoa. Pontiac. Whoa. He can't find Chief Pontiac, so he ended up going back, you know, making his rounds, and he just missing me. Everywhere I'm leaving, he's showing up. Right? Hey. No, no, pop. Pop, pop. Yeah, pop. My everywhere, everywhere I leave, I'm on the run from the police at the time. Right, right. Everywhere I, everywhere I leave, trying to keep from getting caught by the police, he's showing up. Right. And I'm laughing because I don't know at the time exactly what's going on, but I got an idea. I'm getting the best conversation with you, guy. This is crazy. <laughs> <laughs> this is crazy. Well, this is crazy. This is crazy. Okay, so, yeah, so wow. he looking for me, and he's finding other chiefs in the process. Chief Crazy Horse was ODB. Oh, that makes sense why he was saying them boys. See them, uh, like I said, they've not been not knowing who they are. I know OD, OBD from saying who he was. He knew who he, he was. He didn't know who but, he was. And, and we, they were thinking we, the man was crazy because he was telling the people that was attacking him at that time. He was calling them out in the public. He was saying the bushes. Mm -hmm. He was calling mm -hmm. them out in the public. He was exposing what's called the garden plot. The garden plot was part of the bush plan to remove all of the chiefs off the land put them in concentration camps and execute them it was called uh, readiness exercise 1984. wow yeah odb said he was connected to some part of new york that was his family um this, part of new yeah. york. he told his mama we coming to get our shit she said there's no way you can get this shit from these people he said bullshit mama watch wow. now she about to see Right. Okay, so you ever hear of a Mexican hairless dog called a Zolo? No. 
Look it up, because that's who DMX was, Chief Zolo, who the dog was named after. Not the S-O. Not the S-O. Right? X-O. The, yeah. L-O. Yeah, the S-O. Yep. It's that's who DMX was. It's the right? X. It's a, a North American dog. Yeah. That's DMX. That dog. Yeah, yeah I know that, that dog. That dog. That, look, that, that dog, dog head, breed. That dog head being some kind of Egyptian. Like, that's like, Anubis. Huh? Anubis. Yeah, somebody just put it in the comments too. It's Anubis. Then you, then you open me up. That, that, that's making so much sense. God, wait a minute. Okay. So if you me, ever see, look, if you ever see Tupac, you're gonna you gonna eventually see Chief Zolo. You gotta know know that if you know your culture. Well, you saying so that's who that be on this plane. Right? Yep. Right? It makes sense. That's why you say he was a dog and all that. That makes God, you 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 just but yeah, we got this phone. I'm you now I might be up for another four hours after I get off this phone with you. Man, I gotta work in the morning. Snoop is an under chief to Chief Zolo. Makes sense. Makes sense. He looked like one too. Makes sense. He's a, a lot of people think he was the one. He he was the under chief. Under they from the same clan, but a different order of the clan. Wow. Makes so much sense. That just made me understand them hieroglyphics when they be having them dog heads and them bird heads with the human body. Those be totem. Those are the totem. Of the chiefs, that's to close out the age. Once you know what the totem is, right. then you understand who the people is that the symbol represent. Right, makes sense. That's how you're saying you got to really recognize them in real time. Mm. Oh man, yeah, that makes sense. That makes sense. So some of them look just like. Now you gonna say that? I'm just visualizing all that stuff DMS was saying and was talking and somebody saying he was communicating with the dog and all that stuff. Man, it's crazy. They said the dog yeah. made the dog poke. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> it's like the dog did a lyric with him. They were rapping with somebody. He stopped and the dog said something. And he got right back in the thing. You ever heard of that? Him, huh? Let me get him. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, but, but when they asked DMX about it, he said, man, I probably was in my zone and the dog did something and I just incorporated it to the rap. Right, but, but, you but, know, he said, but that's how he is. Wow. Makes sense. Yes. Yeah. Oh, man. I appreciate this conversation, man. I appreciate the Chief. I appreciate you and Elder, man. I appreciate y'all. Don't go nowhere. Please, man, stay around. The people need y'all. I can't go nowhere. To this shit over with. Then I can go about traveling the world and spending my family time with my family. Yeah, just like that last sister said before you got off to come back on. Yeah, we got you, boss. Ain't nobody can't do nothing with this. Nobody can't do nothing with this. We gonna we'll burn this motherfucker down. <laughs> but we got you. You hear me? We got yes, you. Man, no, we got you. Gulliland got you. We got mm -hmm. you. Yeah. Appreciate yeah, you. That's a big mama. Yep, yeah, that's uh, as long as she's straight, I'm straight. Yeah. Hell the YouTube boss, we got y'all, man. Can't nothing happen to y'all boys, man. Promise. You know what I'm saying? Love. Love. Chief, love you, bro. Yeah. Raekwon is one of the chiefs, too. Now, Raekwon is the chief that carries with him another chief. He always got a chief with him. Right? That's yeah. why we call him the chef, because the other chief is his spotter. They a sniper team together. You know, the spotter and the shooter. And you know what? Out of them. Uh, Raekwon do got a South connection. We love Raekwon down here. You Listen, Raekwon is a real live goon, yeah. Yeah. but he don't start no shit with nobody, but he will finish it if you started with him. Since he do. He got a spiritual connect to us in the South. We love Raekwon down here. We love him. Mm -hmm. Raekwon do we, got that connection to us. We call Rock him the God, the 18th letter. His He, he, he one of my guys. He, he come in on my energy. We well, you know, uh, I'm out of the house of Tahuti. One of my best friends, his one of his close friends, brother Jay, in the S class. That's, so that's the, he came in on the house of Tahuti. They are their job is to be the greatest lyrical arrangers in the early eras of hip hop. Right, and I had this right. I'm talking about right next to me, and I'm just catching up with brother Jay and what he was really saying and doing. It was so far advanced. I'm just catching up with that right now. Like, mm -hmm. brother, 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 how you make him get down? Professor Overseer, I got pimping my crown. 
<laughs> oh, said, man, do you know what you were doing? Well, you come straight from the sky. I ain't tell him you came from the sky somewhere, man. I said, that's how he did. Man, I can't believe he was saying this stuff way back then. It's crazy. Yeah, Lord, Lord Jamar is definitely one of the poor righteous teachers. It's I, I, all of them. I can't. Jamar. I can't just name all of them. There's so many of them. Right, right, right. You know, Chris KRS One, right. right. His name mean anointed. It's short. It's KRS is short for KRST, which means Christ, which means anointed. Mm -hmm. And um, he ain't one of my favorites, but I gotta give respect where the respect is due. Right. You know what right. I mean? I don't have nothing against him when I say he ain't one of my favorites. It's just that I was influenced by a whole, a Cool G Gorilla. He Gorilla Clan all day long. BGF no, Blood Oak motherfucker. <laughs> Hey, man, you, man, he was the first one busting caps on tracks. <laughs> yeah. 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 You know, he did that gold thing. He was from New York. I remember going to get his. I bought that album because he had the little gold things on the brim of the album or something. What's this? Yeah, been that was the eighties. The eighties, man. Yeah, cool G, cool G. Mm -hmm. Nas is his own. He a light bearer. When you, his name is Nasir, meaning the light. Right. His lyrics is supposed to give you information. They ain't supposed to entertain you. They supposed to inform you of your culture. Right. It's more women chiefs on the land than it is men. And yeah, Erica Badu, Baduism is operational Make, black girl magic. Makes sense. Ill, 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 Illumin. Yeah, get it. Yeah, makes sense. Makes mm -hmm. sense. So he talking. Yeah. They, they talking code. Big. Yeah, you yeah okay. Big L back already. Y'all just don't know it's Big L because the dude is a much older, and but the flow is the same and it's still just as wicked. But I ain't gonna tell y'all who he is. Y'all gotta figure it out because he's dropping tracks, doing motherfucking um, freestyles all over the place, and motherfuckers ain't even realizing that that's Big L, motherfucker. Right. <laughs> we about he dead. That nigga ain't dead. That nigga bad. right there spitting on the motherfucking microphone. I feel kind of bad because I went off on a site for saying something like that. Now I feel kind of bad because I all your energy is when you say it, I know it's certified. So I feel bad. I got to go back. I said something on this site. It got probably about 4,000 likes on when it come. And I said, because I say, y'all just posting anything trying to get likes. But now that you said that, I'm understanding the concept of that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, sometimes you probably come back. Sometimes you probably come back as a woman. You was a man. Could that happen too? Do they do that? I ain't talking about coming back. I'm uh, in another body. I'm talking yeah. about the same motherfucker. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Look, that, okay, so when we at war, right. we got something that's called war. Remember Tupac kept saying, I just want everybody to know that I did everything righteous by the rules of war. Okay, right, 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 right. What is he talking about? If we follow the war protocol, if one of us is slated for execution, we got confirmed assassination orders right. on our head. We can be extracted okay. using the art of war as the basis. Okay. Whether it's the Sun Tzu art of war or the Machiavelli art of war, we can use any art of war protocol. Something like Asada, or Asada type, Asada, right? Right. Got, okay, I get it. Yep, she was, she right. was, she was all captured. They, Got out of there and she, okay, I get it. They had to get her because she's not no, she's a high priestess and chiefess on the land. Mm -hmm. Her totem is the goose. Mm. That's the goose neck on T neck, New Jersey. Mm. Mm. So they put her in the men's prison. They was expecting some nefarious shit to happen to her. A lot of us don't know that. Oh, I didn't know. I ain't never heard of that one. Whoa. Go back and Whoa. read. Go back and read her story. She tell you. That's deep. Go back and listen to her story. They, they put, put a woman. Deep. If they ever put a woman in the man's prison, they want her to get raped to death. That's right. That's right. Wow. Right. Wow. So everything that we do had to be from the position of right and from the perspective of truth. That's yeah. called the righteous path. A stand your ground type stuff we got down here. Right. We can defend ourselves, but we can't launch the attack. Mm. Oh, so we always got to build a defense with the chest. That's exactly what it is. The chess game. Wow. The Chiefs was the black pieces on the chessboard, 
And the conquistadors was the white pieces on the chessboard. That's why free white persons in law are called Moors. Oh my God. So the chess board, oh man, that made oh that made sense. That made sense. So oh I get it. So how the pawn move and whatnot. Make oh man, you just once again, you always do it to me. Once so again. we needed the roster key. Wow. The roster key is turnabout is fair play. If they attack you first, you attack them. Mm. That's the great defender. The greatest defense, mm-hmm. right, serves as a good offense. Right, right. Because right. you use the attacker's offense to bait them into a trap. <laughs> it makes sense. Yeah, it makes sense. So makes in roster chess, the black move first. Mm. They're telling mm. you the story. Mm. Yeah. Right. In this the, is a Bob in Marley story, book. In this book. <laughs> Man, wow, yeah. this is the Robert Nesta Marley nine miles knock to catch a fire. The fire is at the tip of the flaming spear. The flaming spear is the African equivalent of the flaming arrow, which is the Native American golden arrow. Yeah. The gold, yeah. golden arrow is the one chief that could tie it all together. He the hot chief at the moment. The fl- Flaming arrow. The flaming arrow is launched from a silver bow. Okay. Silver bow is a county that's in Colorado that's shaped like the Liberty Bell. Wow. wow. Oh, so that's why all this stuff going on. That's why this D uh, stuff got a connection to Colorado. That's why they bring all that energy that way. Yeah, because the when the Emerald City return and land, it's a jumper ship. It lands on Emerald Lake. The Crystal City lands on Emerald Lake in um, in Silver Bowl, Colorado. It's, it's already been hovering. People have been taking pictures of it and shit. They don't know what they what it is because it's been cloaked in cloud. So it's just been Whoa. hovering around, going over the states, surveying. <clears throat> they got to send out so many um, <clears throat> scout ships. The scout ships is all they doing is testing the mentality of the people. How is they going to respond when this big ass jumper ship that ain't been here for 3,600 years laying in the middle of their goddamn land mass? And it's happening right now? It's in real time. Wow. Wow. That's a lot going on. There's a lot going on. There's a lot. Look, they built the Admax in Colorado and they built. In the Cheyenne Mountains of Colorado is Raven Rock underground bunker for continuity of government. That's where all of the chiefs that formerly was in prison right. is now. I had a, I had a part. Yeah. yeah, I had a part yeah. of them. Colorado, they underground like a mug. Mm-hmm. Yep. Wow. Wow. And he crazy as a nutball. They let that boy come. He wanted them to call it Tyrone, dude. <laughs> he was a cool man. He was all gangster and crazy, but. He were he's calling Tyrone kind of like dude, not nah, man. That boy was at one of them prisons. He walking the streets around here right now, and I'm talking about man, crazy they OR and everything. He still get OR to get out here. I'm like, I just boy. <laughs> right. So we all know about the. Somebody mentioned the Denver airport, and we all know about the four horses of the apocalypse: the red horse, Chief Malik Angel Bay. Right. That's the one who was given the permission to wage war. Yeah. Then you got the black horse. That's the one that's quietly taking up the survey of all of the events that's going on, right? Okay, now you say yeah. about the bay. Beyonce was on a horse, and she got right. Those that are, that's all. That's all cold flipping. Oh, they talking she, in there. She she she's the priestess of Oshun, but don't piss her off because she will go into her Sasha Fierce mode. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's real. Yeah, it's real. Yeah. Wow. Right. Wow. So it's a, it's so much, man. I can't go through all this stuff yeah. in just one little minute. Yeah, but you got my brain going crazy right now. <laughs> I can't even calm down right now, man. I'm you, I'm <laughs> you messed me up. You messed me up. Man. I appreciate. It. I love. It. It's good. Anyway, it's good. It's good food. It make the head feel good, man. Mm-hmm. It make me feel real good. Yeah. 
Hey, I'm gonna take another caller, man. I don't want to be on here too long with one caller. I've been because I just talk. Oh, really? Appreciate you. Man. I'm gonna get the chance. I'm gonna get somebody a chance. Appreciate you, though. I love. Appreciate and one love, God. Yes, sir. What mama want me to get her on here for? She better have some good information. <laughs> I was scrolling back. I was trying to go down to the, to the next person. I'm stopped. I want to see. Oh, but man, what's going on? What's going on? What's going on? What's going on? Oh, you had uh, it was a different person on the screen <laughs> on uh, your. Uh... Oh yeah, my 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 camera my camera on my phone broke. Oh okay. What's going on with you? But you gotta have some information because it was like stop right here. <laughs> Yo, um, so I'm in Philadelphia, right? And City of brotherly love. Yeah, yes, sir. <laughs> and I be, I be, I was telling my son's mom about like the the history and everything, and I was, I was like, Yo, there, there's something here, you know. Being that this was the capital at first, right? Mm -hmm. So like, you know, I wanted to see like if you had any game on like the history about you know Philadelphia. So they did it. They, they uh, when they moved the capital to DC, mm -hmm. they put a curse on Philly, and the curse was to break up. Okay, so you know the word Philadelphia. They say mean brotherly love, right? But that's that's not what it means. It really mean the love of the oracle. Delphi was what the home of the oracles. Right. Philos is the love. So they want wanted to take the oracles out of the equation so they put the compound word philadelphia in place of the two separate words philos delphi and changed the capital to the city of brotherly love and that didn't have anything to do with what it was originally intended for so we had a, a protection barrier in Philadelphia. If they'd have kept the capital there, we would have been able to overthrow their system a lot sooner. Right. right. So Philly has got its own unique signature of energy across the land. Right. The same with all of the major metropolises. And when we was organizing in Philly, we was organizing under the oracles of the land. Those was the seers that could see down the road of what was to come. They was the one who gave the report to the big mama who was a Gullah Geechee in the Carolinas. She was the one say, fuck the bullshit. Everybody all hands on deck. And that's when we all went to Florida to fight the Gullah Wars. Okay. When they tell us the story from the enemy, the enemy tell us the story is that, oh, we was just all peace and love in Philadelphia and we decided to come together and build the great United States. It, it was not like that at all. It, yeah, like a couple it was, of, it was, was a city say. full of warriors and they needed to get from around the warriors because the warriors was overprotective of the women. And they needed to get the warriors to leave the women unattended so that they can launch their attack. They sweetheart swindle. The sweetheart swindle was because men didn't pass the wealth, women passed, the, the land was inherited as wealth through the motherland. They needed to figure out a way to transfer the land to the banks under the fatherland. And that was how they did it. They broke Philadelphia up with conjures, and then they launched the, it was all part of the Civil War when they went into Philadelphia, and then they started singling out the, the chiefs and assassinating them. They knew what they was doing, but they, they wasn't smarter than Big Mama. Right. I feel, I feel a lot of that you said about, you know, the, the energy, because, like, just, just being out here, I'm, 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 a, I, I come from New Jersey originally, but just being out here, like, like you, you, you see the energy, like exactly what you said, you know what I'm saying? And it's like, I, you, you can see, like, like, just, just being out here, there's a lot of history out here, you know.
same thing mm -hmm. like if he was kind of like out in dc you know what i'm saying you can feel it there's there's a lot of there's a lot of uh you know so you know even even like into my birthday numerology like with the oracles i i, I feel that you know i feel like i i came here for a reason you know what i'm saying to you know what i'm saying part of my part of my journey work and so forth you know what i'm saying and also too like i wanted to tell you too one time i had a dream right and you was in it <laughs> I, I hope I ain't never, chasing it up too bad. <laughs> I know you said you over, you over there in 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 Michigan in the area, right out there. So I'd be traveling, and then we was playing football. You know, I grew up playing football. I don't know if you have any connection to football or anything, but we used to play we used to play football. football in the middle of the street all, all, all my all my childhood. And it, and it was cold as hell. And I said, "Yo," I looked at you. I said, "Yo, up, throw the ball, just just throw it up." You know what I'm saying? Hey, and, so Mary. Yep. And, and it was touchdown. I was like, yeah, I felt that. You know what I'm saying? I woke up, I woke up feeling real energetic. You know what I'm saying? I said, yo, one day I wanna I wanna hop on Rise Live and I wanna be able to holler at him real quick. You know what I'm saying? Cause like he feel like, you know, the energy, you, you feel like the uncle that that keep it real. You know what I'm saying? Even if I feel like I don't know you physically, I, I feel like I know you. You know what I'm saying? Like it's it's that it's that energy. It's, it's all love, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. It's crazy because you look like one of my nephews. <laughs> Right, and, and, you know, I be telling my sons, "Boy, I say, yo, that, that's that's my, I feel like that's my uncle right there. Like maybe in the past, I was something like that. That's my uncle right there. You know what I mean? So they, 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 we used to do that too. Just put it up there, send it down there. I'm out running. Word up. We used to call it the old Hail Mary. Throw a Hail Mary. Uh -huh. Come with me, Girl. Hail Mary, nigga. Come quick, see what right. do we have here now? Do you want to <laughs> ride or die? Da 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 da. da. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I feel like I just feel like I, I I came in touch with a uh with a with a with a long lost family member. You know what I'm saying? That's love. I appreciate you. Like yeah, you, I am I, be, I, be I am literally blood related to all of the tribes. I got I got <laughs> family I got family that's you know that's Gula, a little bit of Blackfoot, just some Cree. Yeah, that's coming off the the Iroquois um, migration into the Gullah Wars. Some of them names was we got later right big mama was giving us a different names when we when the chiefs was coming in she was giving different chiefs tribes different names to show how they was tied in to the to the uh fighting this war right, right? right. some of them like the crow is a priest stealth tribe she could she named the blackfoot blackfoot because they didn't like to wear shoes Mm -hmm. I, I feel that too they didn't like to wear shoes and you know and you walking from fucking damn near from california to florida by the time your feet gonna look real crisp crusty right. you know so, and so she said you y'all tribe is blackfoot because y'all do not want to wear no fucking shoes traversing this goddamn land yep. <laughs> yep. Yeah, yeah but she was she was renaming the clans for reconstitution later on, which is now. Right. So a lot of the clans that you hear about, a lot of the exonyms that the invaders gave, like they call the Gullahs Seminoles. Because it was a mixture of tribes. And so when they tell you the story of it as the Seminole War, the old Mississippian chiefs is called runaway slaves. Right. There had never been a slave in the history of this land. Them niggas, you can't enslave. Right. And you can I, try, I, but I, I it ain't going to work. I always say that because I know you talk about, like, the great deception and stuff. And I'd I, I be like, listen, there, there ain't no way in hell that somebody can, somebody can pull that over a bunch of motherfuckers like me. So, something had to happen. Go back to the sweetheart's window. Yep. When this old dusty ass Negro looking motherfucker come and marry Big Mama, and then while she was asleep, he either smothered her or he probably put something in her drink and poisoned her, and then he brought in Mister Mister Jones to put us on the plantation and tell us that it was war going on. If we leave Big Mama house, we don't have no protection. If we don't have no free papers, right? Free. That's what it morphed into. It morphed into driver's license, state identification, them free papers. Right. 
We ain't need that shit to traverse the land. All we needed to do is follow the tribal protocol. If you a high profile chief and you go to go into a foreign land, you send a scout chief ahead of you to tell the chief you coming. On your way, by the, when you get close to there, you, he didn't send the scout chief back with your scout chief to bring you to him to check in. Now we think it's some nefarious shit when they say check in. Right. But the, the, the check in is not what people think it is. Right. right. The check in is just so that we know you on the land and we can properly protect you as so a chief. Right. Right. Yep. Now, they want to know, well, why you don't make that motherfucker? That motherfucker ain't important. If a motherfucker kill him, fuck him. You important. You check in. Right. Right. And that was the difference in the understanding of the check-in. You always got a check-in chief who was a scout chief. His job is to make sure that when you get there, the rest of the, the major chiefs in the area know you there, know that you there on official business or pleasure or whatever, mm-hmm. and that to make sure that none of the tribesmen harass you while you there. Right. Right. That's when now in the hip hop culture, when they talking about checking in, they don't know the original culture. Right. So, so they thinking it's something else. They thinking it's something else. Mm-hmm. And that's why we were talking about earlier about when E-40 um, knew Biggie was out there and these cats rolled down on him. Right. He said, let me talk to him. He's screening him. So let me know. Or we we know you're on the land. We we just checking you out. Right. So once he screen him and he tell his the soldiers, you know he good. Make sure he's straight while he here. I mean they probably brought him all kind of trees to smoke and brought him all kind of fine ass chicks <laughs> to lay with or whatever. Right. Give give him sponge baths and foot massages. You know whatever. Hospitality. Hospitality of the land, and everybody hospitality is different. Right. Some people hospitality only consists of food, clothing, and shelter. Well, other people hospitality it gets more extensive. They can get you your, your smoke. You can go hang out in the in the mud huts and smoke with the rest of the chiefs and tell stories all night. You know, it's different hospitalities depending on the tribal tradition. Right. And we got. Different tribes, they got different practices and customs. You know, my favorite tribe, I used to like to go visit on the West Coast. The Afro tribes. And them big Tuki, them, them, them my gorilla relatives. <laughs> Niggas don't play. But if they love you, you if they love you, ain't nobody going to touch you without no consequences that they don't want. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so, you know, but... Then the the Northeast chiefs, they was more, um, they would give you gifts all day. They give you so many gifts, you'd be like, God damn, nigga, I can't carry all this shit back. Right. You know, that's how they show they love. They give you gifts. Now it's, they give you shit like a Rolex, a Bentley. You know, mm-hmm. hear, hear somebody say Mike Tyson gave him a car and told him to keep it. That's how the Northeastern chiefs is. Right. 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 The southeastern chiefs, they want all of the best cooks to have a big cookout for you. Mm-hmm. Right? And then you got what we call the deep south going back toward Louisiana, Georgia, Alabama, Arkansas, Mississippi, Louisiana. Those chiefs, they like to have a wang dang doodle, as they call it, a big shindig or what to do. They had a concert in the barnyard. And two buffalo girls go round outside, all that kind of shit. <laughs> they that's how they like to do it. They like to everybody come riding in on horseback from all over to come in and greet them. It, it was just different customs across the land. Right. But now they got us thinking that all of these different customs came from overseas. When they didn't come from overseas, we sent them overseas. Mm-hmm. You know. That's just how it was. Yeah, yo. Yeah, I appreciate this, Unc. Real talk. For sure, for sure, man. You know, I be enjoying talking to the people. That's just one of the things that, you know, make this palatable. I I feel that, too, because talking to the people is definitely a way to help me ground. And, you know, I'm a writer, so expressing expressing myself and, you know, getting it out there because, you know, 
people, you know, they, they they feel like they've been duped, but they don't, you know, necessarily always know which door to to to, to walk through. I just showed them all the receipts. Now they know who did what, when they did it, how they did it, how many of them it was, how they got away with it for so long, yep. how we coming up and how we overthrowing them. Yep, and this is just a cross reference because even if you're not, you know, used to the stuff that you 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 would you would you would teach or you know you would guide them with the info or rather and then like the the we'll be learning in school you know you could kind of cross reference it and be like yo you know what i'm saying okay that now that adds up you know what i'm saying connecting the dots so yeah yo the, the work is definitely appreciated because you know we have to get the information somehow and you know this is the time where you know it's it's up you know what i'm saying so it's appreciated yeah we Hey, we on deck now. We just waiting on the on the exposure to the public. Yep. That's it. Yep. Yeah. All right, nephew. I'm gonna take another call. I don't know how much time I got left. All right, right I'm gonna take one. I appreciate All right. it. All right. time. See if they let the sister in. They're gonna be like liking to talk to these sisters because I be trying to charge you the full below. Big Rod, what up with you, man? <laughs> What's going on? <laughs> What's good, man? Ain't that name night? I thought this was April. What's going on with that? Oh, she. She right here. Oh, yeah, we both watching this. Together. We both, yeah, we both watching you, man. I always be watching you, though, man. Hey, I, I salute you, though, for real. For sure, for sure. Right. Oh, well. hey, there you go. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> hey, I like talking to the couples too, cause I be want to encourage y'all to defy the odds, fuck these motherfuckers, and defy the odds. Yeah. Right, right, you're right, you're right. Yep. yep. They act like we ain't never had no relationship before the nineties or something. Right. That's so hey, that's so crazy. You uh you, you came to us though, man. That's wild, man. That's what's up. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Right, what's man. on your what's on your mind? What y'all wanna talk about while y'all got me on here? Oh uh, I don't know, man. It's been so much going it's been so much going on right now, just the just this paradigm shift, everything like oh uh, I don't know. No man, it's just a lot right now. I'm surprised you. Um, I'm surprised I'm on the on the live with you right now. So it's that's. Crazy. Well, not be surprised because I, I I don't I ain't no respect to persons. I talk to anybody. <laughs> that's what's up. That's what's up. Um, you saw you want to say? Um, dang. <laughs> Um, what you think about the human resonance and stuff just spiking up right now? We are all right. All right. We talked about that. That that's all the Atlas Shrug. That's what the earthquakes is. The human resonance. This coming from them solar flares and those uh, source codes coming in to change the frequency to get rid of the parasitic behavior. Right. Okay. Well, yeah, they're weird. Um, uh, we're in Alabama, so yeah, I'm uh like I said, we be uh, uh I be seeing you you say you are Chief Pontiac, and hey, we down here with uh you know Chief Tuscaloosa down here, you know so. Yeah, he was a hell raising chief boy. He was whooping them motherfuckers ass. Yeah. Oh yeah, no doubt. <laughs> and see, half the story people, ain't been told. Right. <laughs> you know, I be looking at I look at like uh the college playoffs and some is symbology like that so you know michigan and alabama just played that with chief tuscaloosa and basically chief pontiac you know what i'm saying so now you got michigan and washington in it so that's chief pontiac and you got washington you know, you know what i'm saying so and then they knocked the seminoles out you had they had a, you got too many indigenous teams in the playoffs you know with all that stuff so it's a lot of symbology going on right now so yeah you you heard the commissioner say that in the script they wanted two brothers to play each other in the Super Bowl because it was going to be in Philadelphia. Yeah, that's, that's crazy. They say you can't write a better script than that. No, you can't. 
too. I just got to talk to the brother from Philly too. It's two brothers playing against each other in the city of brotherly love in the Super Bowl. The first set of brothers they asked was like, "Hell no!" Then the other set of brothers was like, "Yeah, we'll do it." <laughs> right. Yep. Yep. And like you said, all the really, all the really set up, but really, like I said, they don't really. They don't, I don't think they really be understanding what they be setting up because it's like it still be a win-win for us <laughs> either way it goes. So, like, it's well, crazy. All they doing is using the sports team to flip codes. Right. They flipping codes and they flipping gematria. Right. Yep. Right. So some of us know the numerology we can read the scoreboard throughout the course of the game right and some, some of us know the gematria so we can convert the names to numbers but some of us that know gematria haven't learned the numerology yet wow. See, yep. you, you need to know both of them because otherwise you'll just be in gematria you just be converting words and phrases in the numbers if you know numerology you go number reduction translate into the common language and then you're gonna know what's being said in secret wow well yes i see people talking about 11 11 is 10 11 my time so yeah mm -hmm. we right on we right on point everything we talk about right everything you've been talking about been like right on point so yeah yeah, these are these are codes. These are numerical knocks. It's binary code. Ten, 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 ten times. Yep. Yeah. KK is eleven eleven, double flip. Eleven eleven being double flip. Yep. Initiate off the initiation. Yeah. So yep. they go in all that. Look, the, everybody say they hate us, but they love they love us. You're right. They exactly. just yep. can't let us know that much they love us because then we can start asking the question, well, if you love us so much, why you keep us at the bottom? Right. And they're going to say, then they're going to have to give you a truthful answer. The truthful answer is, we can't keep y'all at the bottom. Y'all stay there to let us stay on the top for a little while because we didn't know what it was like up there. Right. <laughs> <Yep>. <laughs> they, just, they just, they need our. They need our energy in, in all aspects, really. That's just really what it is. This is what it is. The strongest can support the system from the bottom. Right. The weakest can do it. So if you need to be a system to be for a period of time, you have to put the strongest ones at the bottom or it's going to crumble. Wow. So the strongest ones was at the bottom because they was trying to figure out why am I at the bottom? Mm -hmm. Nigga, because you're strong enough to hold this bitch up. Mm -hmm. That's why you at the bottom. But oppression is atmospheric. At some point, you're going to get tired of being at the bottom and ain't nobody going to be able to stop your rise. Right. Right. So that's why when the conjure war came up, the conjure war wasn't between the the uh conquistadors and the servants they brought it was between the conquistadors and the ones that looked like them right so the it was it was against the con conquistadors and the indigenous people of this land basically right so the ones of us from the old mississippian clans and the stealth priests the afro chiefs and the, uh, those chiefs was the ones who went blind in the war right like uh, I was saying, it's a lot of stuff that got us blinded. Just like the, just electricity itself got us blinded. All the all the, the grids when we really need when we really with these solar flares, we really supposed to be getting solar energy. Like we they say we we they say our technology advancing, but how we advancing when we still using gas? We still on a we still on a damn power line when we really supposed to be getting solar energy right now. So it's like you know, well the. Right. The reason why we got power lines is they needed to regulate the usage of electricity so they can monetize it. Right. Because electricity can be, um, you can use Wi-Fi wi like signal to send and receive electricity. Nicole right. Tesla proved that. Right. 
Right. So if they can't monetize it, if they don't have it running through the wires, the wires by running through the wires, you could put a meter that can count the current. Right. If you don't have a meter to count the current, then you you can't you you can't t say how much you charge. Right. right. That's why. That's that's the that's the biggest monopoly in the world is 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 the utility company basically. Your electrical. Yeah, mm. all of that was um, to go through the chapter of misery. Right. It was part because that's part of the it was part of the oppression. The right. inflation program, where you can economically usurp people by slowly deteriorating the purchasing power by increasing the costs at the same time. So you're taking the purchasing power the dollar away, but you're increasing the value of your, of what you're selling for that same dollar. Right. It's yeah, like, that's all trickery. Yep. It's like. And then they and then they call the places where they get the electricity. They call them dams. So it's basically like, like they damned us. And if you look in the Bible, the only cuss word is damn. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? You think, you think about that shit. So they really mm -hmm. damn us because they built the electricity through a dam, and that's how they damned us. Like man, it's it's crazy though, man. <laughs> crazy. And, and here go here go the response of the earth earthborn. Watch what we do. Right. We establish the BRICS nations because you need bricks to build a dam. Exactly. So they gonna damn the dollar back without our foundation. When they damn the dollar back, then that's gonna cause the dollar to flood in on itself. Now America gonna be the reservoir of a bunch of worthless, worthless currency. Right. Then they're gonna have to get rid of the old currency in order for the new currency to flow. That's the second time today I seen bricks without straw, bricks without a straw man. <laughs> That's crazy. Yeah. I but I said I said I I had I t I told I told my lady friend I said if I get on here with Rod, it's gonna like I said, I'm telling you, we finna you finna see a lot of stuff happen. You finna see that Schumann residence go up because see me and I feel like like Rod he one of them dudes. If he go to Egypt, if he go to them pyramids, and I said I'm one of them dudes too. If he go to them pyramids, you see all types. Of you gonna they gonna it gonna be doors and stuff that never even. You never thought they never knew what's there, <laughs> and that shit just start unlocking because he got them codes. It's in his blood. They know it. So like you <laughs> said, they hold us it's down. It's in the blood. It's in the. They hold us down for a reason. That's why I was thinking about um when you was talking to the other dude about Colorado and about um this Emerald City being there, and then some hit me and said like people don't know that okay well where the Grand Canyon was at. The Mississippi used to sit where the Grand Canyon was at. Yeah, yeah. The Grand Canyon used to have the. Uh, it used to be called the Great Temple of Isis, which was the temple of the Great Mother of the Earth, and there was a giant sphinx like they got in Egypt, but it was facing in the opposite direction. It was looking at the one in Egypt, and the one in Egypt is looking back at her. The symbol, the symbolism to that is, as it was in the beginning, so shall it be in the end. When we go 360 around the globe, you end up right where you was when it all, because the, the pyramid complex in Giza is it's just Hollywood for us. Right. It was just, just to keep the story alive long enough for to make it to the close of the age. We don't need that shit no more. Right. It, it was it, it makes sense why they build all this stuff in Vegas the way they do though, kind of with the pyramids and stuff like that. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. all it's all relevant and it's it's all going back to um, ley lines, <sighs> energy centers, and ancient metropolises. Wow. Right. So they was doing a lot of nefarious things in Vegas. They were doing it all over the land. Those 
um, human trafficking networks they had set up, right? If you if you do an overlay of under, uh, underground tunnels with um, ki- with a kidnap map, right. missing children or missing people map, you'll see that the uh, missing people follow the underground tunnel pattern. Like a lot of people don't know that. Right. Okay. What you what you think about these bunkers and all this stuff they built underground? They been did that shit. They just telling y'all about that shit old as hell. Right. I don't, I don't think underground gonna save you right now. How it's gonna save you now when all this shit shaking underground? All these earthquakes. <laughs> For real. <laughs> well, earthquakes only shake the surface. Right. You know, so you. You only got to go so, so many feet for the underground bunker to be secure as long as it's secured with a uh, spring loaded foundation. Yeah. I no. still don't, I don't, I don't know. I don't, I don't feel something ain't right about you going underground and it's earthquakes. It just, I don't know, something shaky about it. Well, I, I tell you this a lot of them been flooded out. Right. A lot of them been, a lot of them been demoed. The ones they was using for human trafficking, a lot of them been demoed, and because because of the amount of negative energy from the suffering that went on down there, right? They just demoed them. Yeah, yeah. I got thirty seconds, and they gonna cut me off. But um, I'm calling tonight after this one. So okay, man. It was, it was great talking to you, man. Like for real. I always watch Definitely your show. Black magic, I watch you on Young Elder. So I think me I'll be